Hello, we are going to look into the new XLOOKUP function, compare it to the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP and see its practical applications in spreadsheets. We use the VLOOKUP function, which most Excel users are familiar with, and return the revenue number for Charlie. The VLOOKUP for Charlie should return 521. Let's now use the XLOOKUP to again find the Charlie revenue of 521. Instead of the table array syntax in a VLOOKUP, the XLOOKUP contains a lookup array and a return array. This is unit name column will be the lookup array, whilst the revenue column will be the return array. There are two other differences with the syntax. The match mode will use the exact match option, and the search mode will apply the search first to last variable. Here is a slight alternative, which will return the correct amount of 521 using the XLOOKUP formula. For the match mode, we will instead use the exact match or next larger item option. In summary, here are the formulas to compare the VLOOKUP formula against the new XLOOKUP alternative to return Charlie's revenue of 521. We will now compare the XLOOKUP versus the HLOOKUP. The HLOOKUP will locate the EBITDA amount for the Alpha business in Q2. In summary, here is the formula of the HLOOKUP, which most users will be familiar with. Let's compare the XLOOKUP and see the differences. As mentioned earlier, the key difference with the XLOOKUP is the use of a lookup array and a return array in the syntax instead of a table array. The heading names in row 4 is the lookup array. Row 9 is the return array because we want to return the EBITDA of alpha in Q2. The match mode will be the exact match option whilst the search mode will be the search first to last option. If the XLOOKUP formula is used correctly, the value return will be 22. Let's repeat this XLOOKUP. The match mode will instead use the exact mode or next larger item in this iteration of the XLOOKUP formula. In summary, here are our formulas again. Let's look more deeply into the XLOOKUP function based on the flexibility of the match mode syntax. As most Excel users know, one limit of VLOOKUP is the fact that exact match only returns the first value in an array. This can be evidenced by this Q1 VLOOKUP example. It will only ever return the first value of 26 when stating an exact match. It can be further illustrated by a wildcard VLOOKUP like this one. Only the first value will be returned by a VLOOKUP formula. However, the XLOOKUP enables you to return either the first or last value.
Using the above quarter example, the match mode allows us greater flexibility with locating a value from the return array. We will repeat the above XLOOKUP formula, but we'll tweak the match mode and search mode variables in order to return the last Q2 value in the EBITDA return array. Let's choose exact match or larger item option for the match mode. We will again select search first to last with our search mode. Hence, we will return the same value of 26. This can be demonstrated further with a wildcard search. Unlike the previous uses of the XLOOKUP using the exact match or the exact match or next larger item, we will use the wildcard character search. We again return the same value of 26 for EBITDA in Q2. Let's now compare the use of XLOOKUP compared to HLOOKUP. The standard HLOOKUP returns 42% for EBITDA percentage for Charlie in Q2. We will now apply the XLOOKUP to return the value of 42%. For the match mode, we will use exact match and search first to last for the search mode. This example will perform a wildcard VLOOKUP on SKU data. The wildcard value will be Rose's Dust, and it will do a VLOOKUP on the deer skews in column H. It will return a value of $1.44. We will perform this VLOOKUP again, but this time with the approximate match range lookup op option. As we can see, it will simply return the last value in the data range, irrespective of whether it contains Rose's dust. We will now use the XLOOKUP to return SKU prices for deer with the same wildcard value of Rose's dust. For the match mode, we will again use the wildcard character match option. We use the search first to last option as the search mode. How about if we want to return the last value from the SKU prices containing Rose's dust? Repeat the previous X lookup formula.
The only change will be to select search last to first as the search mode, and this will return the last value. Feel free to comment, subscribe to our channel, or like this video.